Hello, good morning, dear fellow energy beings and radiant entities all around the multiverse. It is I, Sylvia Hartman, coming to you from the United Kingdom, beautiful Eastbourne by the sea. Sun blessed once again this beautiful morning and this is going to be the last live broadcast in 2000 and 19. Ha! Huh, and what a year it has been. Many things have happened. Many things have happened. But we are looking here really at the positives. And good morning, Heike. It's lovely to see you here with me this morning. And one of the positives, and seeing that we have what appears to be a German lady here, that has happened is that we've started a German language group which now has 250 members and that's quite wonderful and uh, we're hoping to develop that further in the year that comes. I haven't made many notes, I just thought I'll huh, just talk about a little bit about energy and about the difference that energy makes in our lives and to have a sense of energy, to have an understanding that we are connected to the worlds of energy through our own emotions, it's a wonderful thing really. And it is a message that I'm hoping very much to bring out to many, many more people in 2020. It's a beautiful message. It's important, I believe, to help people overcome the stress and negativity of which there is just so much as our societies here seem to be in a crazy transition and yeah it's nice to have something that is reliable that is logical that is positive the modern energy chart to uh, hold on to to say okay no matter what happens on the outside on the inside i can keep strong i can keep high energy, I can be positive and when I am I can come up with the most extraordinary creative solutions to the problems that I have. I think that's brilliant. So 2019 started with the money course. That was awesome. That was really brilliant. Take your money life to the next level so that some money stress is being alleviated from your incarnation. And if you haven't done that, I recommend it highly. It's awesome fun. It's an awesome energy raiser. And if you've already done this course, um, let your new aspects, your 2020 aspects, revisit it and do it afresh. We've had a threshold shift, so now let's just take it to the next level. Why not? I think that would be all, that that would be fun. I think I might just. Just go with that and have a go with that and uh, all the members in the money club of course and everyone else who's done the money course has access to the material so let's do this afresh and see what it's like on the next turn of the upward lifting spiral I think that'd be fun yes that started the year 2019 off with a bang and that was that was great Lots of other interesting things have happened to me. I'm sure many good things have happened to you too. And I, 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 I just want so to go to that straight away. I just don't want to go through the month. I just want to jump straight into October when there was this big explosion and we had Star Matrix. The focus on the positive memories of our lifetimes. Wow! We are on Unit 7 at the moment, and it's just been brilliant. It's really been just brilliant. It's been so uplifting, so positive, so stabilizing. Um, just really, really good. Really good course. So many people have said to me, Oh, I'm so sorry I missed the first one. I was busy at work. I was on holiday. And I said, OK, 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 we'll do another one in April. And that should be fun. And then you can also, those amongst you who are scared and terrified, what would happen if you stop digging in trauma? 
and started to look at your positive memories instead. Those of you who were terrified of this proposition, you can then see that the people who were on the first, first course have survived this and are happy people to have returned from this trip. So that will give you extra encouragement. April 20th, which is fun because that will be April 20th, 2020, where the next Star Matrix Master Course is going to be happening in the English speaking realms. Huh, so for me personally, I uh, was 60 years old in, in 2019. 2019. I had my 60th birthday. Ooh, interesting. I'm uh, getting to be Gandalf the Grey. Hello, Tox. Lovely to see you here with me this morning. I was just saying, um, 2019 was my 60th birthday. And that's really quite intriguing as a female person. And, hmm, yes. <clears throat> Perhaps people will take me more seriously now. People, people listen to me more because I'm now so much older and so much wiser than my previous aspects were. But still, it doesn't matter. The mission continues to make the world more energy aware and to get the GOE's core message out to people, which is that your happiness matters. That's the, the big message is that your happiness is more important than brushing your teeth. It is more important than what other th people think of you. It is more important than anything else in your life. There is nothing that is more important than your happiness. Because your happiness is, telling, is, is the state of your energy body. And your energy body drives and controls everything else. Everything else. Your blood pressure, your thoughts, your emotions, your actions are all driven through your energy body. So it doesn't matter what the hell you're doing. If you are happy, which means your energy body is strong, it's powerful, it's got good protection around it, it's sparkling, it is attracting positive things to you. It doesn't matter what you do. It always makes everything better. And that's, you know, that's what people need in this day and age. They need a clear-cut, simple set of instructions that they can follow, which is find what makes you happy, make sure that that happens in your energy body, because it's an energy thing. You don't have to climb a mountain. You don't have to get married. You don't have to give up on this, that, and the other. It's a simple thing of, energy and energy is free and everyone can have as much energy as they want we just have to start asking the question what do i need right now to feel happier ha huh, money doesn't buy happiness freedom joy compassion love excitement fun um Adventure. Oh, adventure makes me happy. I love adventure. I love adventure, not so much climbing up mountains in the heart, but I love the adventures of the spirit, of the mind and of the soul. I love it. It doesn't matter that if you're old or in my case, you're pretty fat and you don't have that much money or you just don't have that much youth or health. Still, there is this entire universe that we can travel and these awesome experiences that we can have, which are 100% infinite, unlimited and nourishing to the human spirit, the human spirit, the human energy body. We get that to be happier. We get that to be stronger. And the vast majority of our problems as an individual, in our families, in our societies, it's just going to get so much better. Everything is going to get better. But it starts with an individual person who starts to understand how important their happiness is and that their happiness matters. So 
I would really encourage and invite you to start really shouting this from the rooftops and to tell other people about it, to not have it be your your secret weapon anymore that nobody knows about but you do and it sort of gives you a huge advantage in your business in your life with your you know competitors with your relatives with your colleagues share the secret please now share the secret and the secret is that yeah your happiness matters your emotions matter enormously there are a million ways to change the way we feel and quickly at that this doesn't have to be this is not 35 years in therapy we're on unit 7 in the star matrix course and that's called starlight and what that is all about is the um, the energy of fun and laughter and joy laughter is like a uh, fireworks explosion in our energy bodies and that's you know it changes our state so fast it catapults us out of the deepest depression it has the power to do that catapult us out of the deepest depression in an instant into this high sparkling energy state where your energy body just becomes like a fountain and this is such a marvelous thing and such a marvelous example that if you really understand the energy body and how it works for you that you can create state changes so fast and so profound that we really don't have to be sitting there suffering in trauma and therapy for and crying and group hugging and making puppy piles this is not necessary anymore modern energy can make you happy really absolutely any time you want simply by taking control of your energy body and feeding it with positive experiences positive memories positive thoughts positive energy forms and we are simply guided to those they're not prescribed this i find so beautiful nobody in modern energy is going to tell you what to love we might ask, what do you love? What do you love the most? What is that? And what else do you love? What else makes you happy? You. And there's no right or wrong about that, you know. There is no prescription. Happiness is a pathless land. It's the land that you need to find to explore. First of all, you need to know it's there. It's absolutely there and it's waiting for you. And the second thing is to know that to just literally, they always say, follow your heart. What does your heart desire? What does it need more of? What does it need to grow and become stronger and happier? And when we ask that question directly, there is an answer. Oh, I need more space. I just need more space to unfold my radiant wings. I need more space so I can take off and fly. I need more space. And that is an energy experience. Even as I'm saying this, I can feel the walls of this little room that I am in, which are literally just walls in the mind, if you think about it, expand and fall away and there is this space of freedom that is coming to me now and uplifting me. The crazy thing is, like with the Star Matrix experiences, is that the beautiful things, they are always there. They are totally available to us. We just didn't know that. And again, that's the message of modern energy, is that not only is our happiness so important and the power of the positives is what's going to get us there what the hell else ever would you know you have to scratch your head and ask how did people ever think that we would get happy by i don't know criticizing ourselves and each others 
telling each other what's wrong with each other, um, beating up on each other and ourselves. It's really astonishing that anybody ever thought that was a good idea in the first place. But still, there's no point in dwelling on that. Star Matrix. We're using our good experiences to become the portals for even more good experiences in the future. And this is what then I would like to leave you with as an idea what to do this year for your New Year's resolution. I would like you to think back on the year and find the best experiences. And if you want to do that, you can do that month by month. You can look in your diary to jog your memory if you have to, or perhaps through your social media stream, and identify the best experience that you can remember for every month. January, February, March, May. Don't look at the traumas. Don't look at the traffic accidents. Don't look at the freakouts. Focus absolutely on the very best memories of those months. And then write them down so that you've got a list. When you've done that, got all the way to December, then we can take that list and literally hold it to our heart and say, Dear Energy Mind, dear everyone who listens, and you can name the people in the higher places that you like to be dealing with, talk to God or the goddess or your prophet and you can say dear higher beings as well these sort of experiences I want more of this is what I want more of in my life more star moments and if you wish you can then have this moment there where the future unfolds before you and you can start to conceive of the stars in the future that are awaiting you and that encourage you to go forward into the future to discover what these new experiences, these star moments are going to be. I am myself super excited about that. I've had such extraordinary experiences in my life and most of them were totally surprising. I had no idea that to even ask for something like that because it was so way beyond my own expectations and I find that really really wonderful. Okay yeah so that was what I wanted to share with you this morning the morning, the second to last morning of this year, 2019. Um, it's been an extraordinary year for me on so many different levels. Wow! Um, it'll always be remembered as the year that Star Matrix finally came out of its egg and came into being because that really is one of the first real manifestations of the massive paradigm shift that is modern energy that is when you start to work fully with six senses and not just five I am super happy super excited and I'm also super grateful for every one of you who is taking part in this in this what is still really the wild west of modern energy where we're learning new things at a wonderful rate but the central core of it the heart of it is that getting up on the energy chart understanding that it's the star aspects that count the What's important in life is contained in the very high energy states. The lessons of life, the real lessons of life, are not to be found in the trauma. They are only to be found in your highest enlightenment states, in your star aspects, in your plus 10 experiences. And when we connect with that, 
then we have a really good chance that they become portals to more and more and higher and different and other experiences. In that sense, I wish you a wonderful transition from 2019 into 2020. Have it be your most star-filled year yet. And may it lay the foundation for many more years to come after that, that also are star-blessed in the true sense of the word. With all my love to you all, have a wonderful celebration in any way you choose to go about and do that. Ah, and the stars are shining on us all. I'll see you in 2020. Bye.